We're going to turn now to the coast of Southern California, where scientists have discovered that's a, that it's a hot spot for young great white sharks. Matt Gutman is out there in L.A. with a look at whether this is something beachgoers should be concerned about. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, George. Shark Lab doesn't want us to think about it in this way as a, an issue of concern. What they want is for us to be aware, aware that conservation has helped great white populations on the East Coast and the West Coast to bounce back, and that there are many more encounters between humans and sharks than they ever imagined. Oh my God, right under the board. This morning, new research from the University of California, Long Beach, revealing how much humans and great white sharks unwittingly interact every single day at hotspot beaches in Southern California. We're taking the Zodiac here. We joined Chris Lowe, a marine biologist and director of Cal State Shark Lab, on the water. Behind us is a typical Southern California beach where Shark Lab conducts a lot of its studies. This one is home to over a dozen great white shark juveniles. And on any given day, there are dozens of encounters between those sharks and swimmers and surfers here. Cruising just offshore, we reach our first juvenile great white shark habitat. For probably the first time in, in the 20 years that I've been working here, we have a, a juvenile white shark nursery aggregation. What does that mean? So this is where the young white sharks like to come and hang out. And this is a good thing, right? Because it means that the ecosystem is functioning as it should. Actually, this is a great thing because it shows us that conservation works, yeah. right? White sharks were protected in California in 1994. Uh, their food sources come back. Marine mammals have recovered better than we thought possible. And that requires cleaner water, cleaner air, all those things. So I would argue that this nursery here is a great sign that California is doing things well to bring its, it, the health of its ocean back. The team gathering its data on juvenile sharks through tagging made possible by the deployment of a swarm of drones over California beaches. The drones have been an invaluable tool. Um, they've basically given us that eye in the sky perspective that not only let us look at what the sharks are doing, but they help us see what they're doing around people. And what they've learned is sharks are in fact swimming with and around people, whether we realize it or not. There are literally thousands of interactions a year. And basically at the end of the day, where you have aggregations, you could quite often have lots of people encountering these sharks daily. Do the people know they're encountering the sharks? They do not. Okay. <laughs> and as long as we don't chase them, they ignore people. Now this sounds terrifying, right? That there are many thousands of encounters between humans and sharks off the coast of California. But Shark Lab wants us to think about it this way. Of these thousands of encounters, very few turn bad. The vast majority are peaceful, and it's possible that sharks are actually learning to avoid humans. Now, if you want to see more of this, you can watch the special streaming on the National Geographic Channel right now on its annual shark fest. It's called Sky Shark. TJ. All right. I, I missed what you said after this all sounds terrifying, Matt. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> all right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.